Hey everybody, it's Steve Langley with the Soap Bubble Circus. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm gonna share a little soap bubble recipe for you all here today. That's one of the most common questions that I get asked all the time after my performances is people wanna go, hey, Mr. Bubble Guy, what's your secret recipe? Well, I'm gonna share a recipe with you today. It's not a secret recipe. You can actually find it online, but uh, I'm gonna share with you how to make it. Might make it a little easier to understand. This recipe is a guar gum based recipe. Guar, G-U-A-R, guar gum powder is what you're gonna use. That's kind of the tricky ingredient that's hard to find, but this one's called a guar gum. If you wanted to go look it up online, look up guar gum soap bubble recipe, and it'll be there as well. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients, and I'll also list them out in the description on the video as well. I'm gonna show you what you need to, uh, to make this recipe, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And this is gonna make one gallon of bubble soap. Uh, suitable for making giant bubbles, normal size bubbles, just for having some bubble fun. So uh, let me grab the camera and turn it around and I'm going to show you what ingredients and what tools you'll need to make this recipe. So the bubble recipe has four ingredients. You want to have some alcohol. Best to use the 91% type of alcohol. You're going to have guar gum powder. Uh, if you can't find it uh, in stores, the best place in stores is like a natural Whole Foods or a health food store. And it is a baking product. It's a flour substitute for people that are gluten free. So you're gonna find it in the baking section of a grocery store if you find it. Then you wanna have Dawn soap, blue Dawn soap. That's the best. Don't try anything else. Don't try any of the different antibacterial, any of that stuff, just regular. Blue Dawn, and then you want to have Clabber Girl, or actually any brand will do, but baking powder. Baking powder is another ingredient that you're going to add at the end. So these are the ingredients in the order that we use them. I'll give the measurements and the amounts as I make the recipe and also in the notes under the video. You also want to have a, a gallon, at least a one gallon uh, bucket with uh, measuring increments in it ideally. And then you want to have a small one cup measuring cup as well as a set of measuring spoons and a whisk. So these are all of the ingredients and the tools that you will need to make this guar gum soap bubble recipe that I'm about to show you right here. So this recipe that we're gonna make makes one gallon of bubble soap and you wanna use hot tap water. Get it the hottest that you can get it. And actually you're gonna end up with 15 and a half cups. A full gallon is 16 cups. So what I do is I measure out a one gallon, which is 16 cups and then I'm gonna take a half a cup of water out, which will leave me with 15 and a half cups. What I'm doing is I'm making room for the Dawn dish soap that I'm gonna add later, so I'll end up with one full gallon. So you start out with one gallon of hot tap water, as hot as you can get it. There we go, almost, a little bit more up to the line. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half a cup out because we actually want 15 and a half cups for this recipe. So that's 15 and a half cups of water now. Another good thing about this recipe is the uh, measurements don't have to be exact. It's a very forgiving recipe. The next recipe. step in the recipe after you've measured out the water is you're gonna take one heaping teaspoon of the guar gum powder and put it into your measuring cup. So the next step after you've measured one teaspoon of guar gum powder into the measuring cup is you're gonna take two tablespoons of the 91% rubbing alcohol. And this is where you're gonna use your whisk and you're gonna dissolve that guar gum powder using the alcohol. That's the whole reason you do this step. This is called making a slurry. But really all you're doing is dissolving the powder, the guar gum powder in the alcohol. You're using the alcohol to help break it down this is an important part of the step. Make sure that you stir it until all the powder is completely dissolved in the alcohol. It only takes about a minute or so, 30 seconds or a minute. And then that step is called creating a slurry. On to the next step. Now this next step, we've made the slurry with the alcohol and the guar gum. Now this is a really important step too. I like to do this in the sink and I do it in the bucket with the measured water. And I'm gonna take and just push it down in the water and get a little bit of that hot water in there and stir it up. You're gonna do this a little bit at a time, just a little bit at a time, introducing just a little bit of water each time. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna to start to see 
this guar gum mix is going to start to thicken up. This is called blooming it or blooming it. What's going to happen is it's going to get thicker and thicker. The more you stir it and the more water you add, it's going to take on almost like a pudding like consistency. Keep adding water and keep stirring. You don't want it to thicken up. This is like making gravy right here. And if you don't stir it enough, it'll lump up and it's harder to stir it into the rest of the water once it gets nice and thick. As you can see, it's starting to get a little more viscous. It's getting thick. It's starting to thicken up. Like I said, this is a lot like when you're making instant pudding. So you're looking for that stuff to start getting a little thick. Once it starts to get thick enough, once it's completely bloomed, there it is, it's really thick now, really thick. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take and introduce it all into the water and then stir. Make sure and rinse it all out of your cup. And I like to stir here for about another minute or two. You wanna take and make sure that you get that guar gum and the alcohol mixed up really nice in the water, that's important. That's really important. So make sure you give it a good stir. Distribute that guar gum good into the water. Now the next soap, next step, I'm sorry, the next step is the soap. We're gonna actually put in, it's a one half of a cup plus one and a half tablespoons. Now, like I said, the good thing about these recipes, uh, uh, this guar gum recipe is uh, it's very forgiving. You don't really have to be exact with your measurements and it's still gonna work. I like to rinse all of that Dawn soap out of there. Make sure that we get every bit of it into our mix. And then we're gonna mix this up again. Be careful that when you stir that you don't create foam. You don't wanna to make too much foam if you can avoid it. Because foam is kind of the enemy of the bubble. It'll eventually dissipate, but you wanna try and avoid making foam. Now we're gonna go on to the final step next, which is gonna add a little bit of baking powder. The final step is to add baking powder. We're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder to the mix. Now the story is, is that the baking powder actually makes the bubbles last a little longer and makes them more colorful. I don't know, I've always used it in the recipe. Make sure that you give it a good stir. Make sure that you mix it up in there good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna pour it into a one gallon jug and you'll be ready to go to take to the site and make some bubbles. Another good part about this soap bubble recipe here is uh, you can use it right away. A lot of soap bubble recipes, you have to let them sit and let them cure for a little bit. This one, it's actually good to go right after you make it. It requires no curing. And like I said, it's a very forgiving recipe. Now I'm gonna show you a little something here real quick, what I like to do, a little test. Now what I like to do whenever I make a new batch of soap, just to try it out, make sure there's gonna be good soap before I go out into the field. I like to do a little test with it right here over the sink. And what you wanna do is you wanna make a little loop with your hand little circle just like that, small circle just like that. Then dip your hand in the soap, let some of it drain off. Ooh, that's a nice bubble. Yeah, I like that. That's good soap, that's good soap. Let's see if we can put a bubble inside of it. Looks like good soap. Like I said, it's always good to give it a little test here in the kitchen before you get it out in the field. So there you go. There's a basic guar gum soap bubble recipe. Maybe I'll take some outside and show you. Let's make a big bubble with it. How about that? Sound good? All right, so we're out in the driveway now and I'm gonna use my tri-string wand. That's what we call this because if you hold it up, it should make like a triangle. The bottom string should be twice as long as the top string. I've got it attached to a couple of wooden dowel rods here. I'm going to dip it in that guar gum soap that we just made. And I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see it. Now the secret of making big bubbles is you want the wind at your back. So the bubble goes away from you. You open it up, let the wind make it, and then close it off. There we go. That's some good soap. That's some good soap. That's guar gum powder soap bubble. Giant soap bubble right there. That's good stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the other two videos. So long.